Have you ever generated an image using an AI image generator such as Stable Diffusion or Midjourney? When you create an AI generated image and share it, have you ever thought about who owns the copyright to AI generated content? Do you have the right to use or share it as your own? Today, we will answer this question. Some of the recent incidents have raised concerns about how AI image generators are trained to generate images. Recently, an artist named Kelly McKernan found out that her artwork was being used to train an AI system, all without her permission. Over 50 pieces of her artwork were uploaded to a data set used by AI image generators. Kelly's not alone in this. More artists are coming forward with the same story. Some are taking legal action against the use of their works without their consent. Getty Images, a major stock image platform, has accused an AI company of unlawfully copying and processing 12 million of their images without permission. Another artist, Eva Tornant, was alarmed when she discovered an AI artwork in a gallery that bore a striking resemblance to her own. If you visit the AI image generation websites like ClipDrop or Midjourney or OpenAI's DAL E2 and type in a text prompt, in seconds you get two to four visually stunning images based on your text prompt. The technology is mind-blowing, isn't it? So how did the image generators achieve these results? They are trained on huge amounts of data like text, images, videos, and audio files, all gathered from the web. A big issue with these AI art tools is that they rely on artists' work without credit or compensation, even if the original works aren't copyrighted. Every image that these tools generate is likely a derivative of existing artwork, but the original artists often do not receive recognition or payment but here's where it gets tricky. Who owns the rights to the AI-generated content? Whether it can only be attributed to humans or we can give credit to AI or machines, they raise legal concerns. Current copyright laws only protect human-created content. Some people think that AI should own the content, but the law does not recognize AI as an author or owner. Tools like ChatGPT are revolutionizing the world, but laws regulating AI are not keeping up with the same pace. It is a murky territory. Many AI websites do offer paid plans that let you use the generated images for commercial purposes, but the question of who owns the copyrights still hangs in the balance. For example, the terms of a website for an AI image generator state that as a paid subscriber, you own the copyrights to the creations you make. However, they also suggest that any consequences of using the image will be your responsibility and warn that these terms could change as new copyright laws evolve. So here's our question once again. Who owns the copyright to AI-generated content? When you create an AI-generated artwork, what precautions should you take while using or sharing it? Our answer to this is, think twice before presenting it as your own work. And here's the important part, never claim an AI-generated image as your own work. Be mindful of the legal and ethical issues when using AI-generated art. We hope this video shed some light on the topic. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and share this video. Thanks for watching.